Hey, it's Ben here, and here in this video, we're gonna have a look at how we modify our bullet size in InDesign. So the first thing we're gonna do is set up a paragraph style to create a bulleted list. So we'll come to our type menu here. We'll jump right into paragraph styles. And basically with a mixture of paragraph and character styles, we can control and manage everything that we need to in a numbered or bulleted list. So we're gonna double click into our type here. We'll select everything and we are gonna create a new paragraph style. So paragraph style one, we'll double click into this and we are going to change the name of this to bullet list. We're gonna set up a simple bullet list here. We'll go into bullets and numbering. We'll turn on our bullet list. And if you don't see your bullets come up right away here, you may just need to check preview at the bottom left here of this panel. And then we can come in and kind of modify a few things here. So we can change things like the left indent of our bullet. We can change the tab position of our type or text. So we can have it closer or further away. And then we can also set up a character style here for our bullet. So basically this is what's going to allow us to change the size and color of that bullet. So we'll create a new character style and you'll see the kind of formatting will look like it's gone away, but it hasn't. And for this, we will set up basic character format for our bullet. We'll just set the size to 24. And I'm gonna then come in here and we will call this bullet size and color. We'll click OK. So what we have here is two different things. We have the paragraph style, which is controlling the size of our type, the spacing of our type and all that kind of stuff. And also the position of our bullet within our list. So things like the left indent, and the tab position. And then if we click OK here, we have this character style now that is controlling our bullet size. Now, it's important that before we modify this character style that we deselect everything here, otherwise we're gonna apply that to our text here as well, which we don't want to do. So I'm just gonna click on my selection tool, click away from everything here. And often this is a good thing to do. It means you're not gonna accidentally format something with the wrong character or paragraph style. What I can do now is come into bullet size and color, double click in here, and with preview checked on on the bottom left, I can come into my basic character formats, I can change the size, so we can decrease or increase the size of our bullet. We can also come into character color, we can change the color of our bullet here. If we wanna create new colors, then we can come to window, color will come into our swatches and we can make a new swatch here so we'll come up to our menu at the top go to new color swatch we can then set a new cmyk swatch so we'll just mix something a little bit different we'll go for this nice orange we'll click add and done and now we've got our new color swatch so now we can double click in here we can come into our character color and we can choose that new swatch that we just created for our bullet color. So we'll click OK here. So this is a really important concept. We have these two different styles here, one for our character style for our bullet and one for our paragraph style. And it's in that paragraph style that we have this particular character style attached to just simply for the, the bullet formatting. We can also in here as well add other bullets. So if we wanna go to something like Webdings, then we can choose a different bullet. So we could choose a square. Let's scroll down here. We'll choose a couple different ones. We'll choose a file folder. We'll add that. We'll choose the knife and fork. We'll add that. And you can see in here now for our bullet character, we can change the character of the bullet and we can also change the, the size of it as well. So you can see for things like the square, we're gonna to need to go back in and modify things a little bit as well for the folder. So if we click OK here, we're gonna to have to come back into our paragraph style, double click in here and change the character size. Let's go down to 12 point. And you can see we've got just that nice level of control over the size of that particular bullet point. So in this case, the file folder. We can also go into advanced character formats and change things like the baseline shift. So you'll need to stick a number in there first of all. But now you can see we can shift that file folder up and down. If we come back into our paragraph styles and come into our bullet list, then we can also do things 
like modify our indents and spacing, so the space after our paragraph, the space out our list. So again, nice level of control over the bullet size, the style of bullet that we're using, and then also the list in general within these paragraph and character styles within Adobe InDesign. If you have any questions about this, then do please leave comments below. Otherwise, I look forward to seeing you on the next video.